Tulum is one of the most sought-after vacation spots because of its magnificent, never-ending beach and the bohemian atmosphere that makes it one of Mexico's most alluring destinations for both tourists and locals. Over the years, a lot of foreigners looking for a new lifestyle have flocked here, helping to convert its old fishing village into one of the most affluent Mexican vacation spots. So what's it like in this enchanting town of beaches and ancient ruins? Come with me as we explore together. How to get to Tulum To get to Tulum, your best bet is the Cancun Airport Transportation. It is one of Mexico's most reliable firms and the quickest and most convenient method to get you to your destination. On arrival, you have the choice of three transportation options to choose from, each of which will take you a few hours. You'll need a car to move about, so I suggest hiring one. It shouldn't take you less than two hours to get from Cancun Airport to Tulum. And when you arrive, the first place you should check out is the Playa Paraíso. Playa Paraíso Playa Paraíso, one of Mexico's best beaches, is a great place to start your day. It can be a bit crowded in the afternoon, so go there early to grab a decent place and avoid the hot afternoon sun. You'll find yourself spending minutes marveling at the beautiful electric blue sea and relaxing in the breezy air to the soothing murmur of the waves. You might easily spend the entire day here, lounging under a parasol or floating in the clear waters. Two chairs, an umbrella, and a table will typically cost around $10. Playa Paraíso is located on the Caribbean Sea, making it an excellent site for meditation, recreational activities, and breathtaking views. The beautiful white sands coupled with the pure turquoise blue seas of the beach will absorb you entirely in the stark beauty of the natural realm. Your family can relax in the sun on the sand or in the quiet waters of the ocean, doing what you have to do to have fun together. There is no better place to make the best beach experiences than at Playa Paraíso. Playa Paraíso is a popular destination not just for its own pleasures, but also for the places of interest surrounding it, like the Tulum National Park and archaeological sites. The park, which is located on the Yucatan Peninsula's glittering shoreline, is made up of excellently preserved Mayan ruins and dramatic said notes. There are all-inclusive, regularly well-rated, and delightful places to stay with attractions like single or double rooms, as well as classic suites near the beach fitting for a king or a family. Maya Ruins Tulum provides easy access to many ancient Mayan ruins that help convey the story of this vanished society through beautiful architecture and spectacular spectacular art. The Mayan civilization was one of the great North American societies with the most advanced writing system in antiquity. The Mayans were astronomers, mathematicians, scientists, and so much more. Unfortunately, its great culture is remembered more for its demise than for its achievements. All that is left today are the spectacular archaeological ruins that were left behind. The Tulum ruins are not the grandest Mayan ruins in Mexico, but its stunning setting on a cliff overlooking the beach makes them a must-see. A trip here is a must for any place in the Yucatan, and is unquestionably one of the best things to do in Playa del Carmen. With Tulum's rapid growth and popularity, the 13th century ruins can get a little crowded, so go early in the day for the best chance of getting that envy-inducing Instagram image without having to fight your way through mob. Laguna de Can Lum Laguna Can Lum is a lagoon located just south of Tulum, and much of its allure stems from the area's remoteness. This unusual location, in fact, makes Laguna Can Lum difficult to reach, making a quick vacation to this magnificent corner of Mexico even more memorable. Laguna Can Lum has retained its appeal over the years since the entire Tulum area is so beautiful that visitors frequently have too many things to see in too little time. This lagoon is surely a sight to behold. The Laguna de Can Lum, located just 9 kilometers south of Tulum town, is one of Tulum's best-kept secrets. In the heart of this lovely lagoon lies a massive cenote, underground spring, which imbues the lagoon's water with a dazzling palette of colors. Visit the lagoon and soak in the mud created by the cenote, which is said to have medicinal effects. Also, its cheap entrance fee makes it one of the top Tulum budget activities. Of course, anybody who visits Laguna Can Lum has a certain plan in mind, 
swimming. And in fact, this is one of the most beautiful sights in the world to swim in crystalline, pure, sparkling waters. The majority of the water in Laguna Kanlum is knee to shoulder deep, making it ideal for swimming. Besides that, the water is always transparent, with a faint green turquoise hue. Finally, remember to treat everything that makes this location so lovely with the utmost respect. Natural treasures like Laguna Kanlum should always be regarded as priceless and fully loved. Burrito Amor I've undoubtedly I've probably eaten thousands of burritos in my life, and none taste better than the inventive banana leaf wrapped burritos served at Burrito Amor. They are really that wonderful. Burrito Amor, positioned on Tulum's main road on the south end of town, serves some of the best food in town. The average price is only about $5.25, providing a pleasant relief from the skyrocketing prices that have lately plagued much of Tulum. Burrito Amor is in the heart of Tulum, near the intersection of Avenida Tulum and Calle Sol Oriente. There is seating for roughly 45 persons in an almost open-air environment. Two sides of the restaurant are entirely open to the public, allowing the outside to flood in and the insides to spill out. Having those delicious burritos here will make you feel as if you're at a friend's backyard BBQ. Bate. As Tulum's nightlife culture grows, the same modest pub remains the place to start your night out. At night, you'll find live music and a lively throng pouring into the streets with tropical beverages in hand at Bate. You can even observe them pressing the sugarcane for your mojito. It doesn't get any more natural than that. The mojitos cost $6.30 which is a bit pricey for a tourist in Mexico, but the cocktails are worth every dollar. The atmosphere is fantastic and the place is always filled with people eager to have a good time. Searching for new venues to enjoy a good time and a fun night out in Mexico? Make a point of visiting Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, and Cozumel. All four venues have fantastic nightlife. Explore the Sian Khan. The vast Sian Khan biosphere, which is protected and home to thousands of different plant and animal species, as well as some of Mexico's most clean water, is located just south of Tulum. Dolphins, turtles, as well as an uncountable number of fish and birds can be found within this amazing park. A tour is a lot of fun and takes the hassle out of traveling to Sian Khan. But keep in mind that the long route through the park is rather bumpy, so you'll either need to rent a car for the drive or sign up for one. A Sian Khan is a place that can't be described in words or even in photos. This biosphere reserves splendor only can be seen with your own eyes. Caves at Senot Caracol The cave in Senot complex just a few kilometers north of Tulum will lead you feeling like you've left Mexico and arrived on another planet. The pools of spring water inside the caves are breathtaking, reflecting the dangling stalactites. That's not even all. Caracol is a bit of a magical place and the perfect option to consider in Tulum to get away from the crowd. I must warn you though, the road to Caracol might be difficult to drive, although that depends on the season. It's made of dirt with big slopes, bumps, and potholes. But during the dry season, a cheap car can get there only if you drive very very slowly. You can either rent a car and drive yourself or join an organized trip to get there. The entrance fee might be costly, but I would say it is well worth it. If you're unsure of what to do in Tulum when it's raining, this could be the answer. Senot Caracol is certainly one of Tulum's undiscovered gems. Not many folks who come to this part of town get to hear about this amazing place. I definitely suggest you check it out while you're in Mexico, because it is one of the biggest cave systems in the world. Every one of these locations will definitely make your trip to Tulum worthwhile, so don't miss out.